start working on our top knot. Now I've got a great trick for top knots. Not everybody can do the, everybody be like going around and around and around, but I've got a great tip. Okay, she's got like calyx in here and she's got not much top knot there, so she's she has a little bit difficult one to work with. Kind of flops down a little bit on you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it all forward, but I'm going to fluff it up a little bit because of those calyx, because once you cut those calyx, what will happen is it'll, all that weight's off the ends, so it'll pop right in, and then you get this, what I call the windblown look. So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to overcompensate for it, and if you see, I've got my angle of my scissors way away from those, eye, uh, way away from the top of those eyes. Take it all the way around. It's funny when uh, when I did win the class with uh, Liz Judging, she told me my top knot was the best one out of anybody's, and that's why I won the class. She said one was a little off this way, one was a little off that way. Mine was the only one that was was balanced. in here. Now she's got a little bit of a back skull, but I've got to be careful on how tight I take it on the side because I've got to blend everything in with the jacket and everything too. So it's just called getting everything to flow into where it needs to go. So what I'm going to do, okay, I already did that. And I did it all the way up to pretty much where the ear is at there, the front of the ear. Then I'm going to take my straights. I'm going to comb it back. You notice I fluffed it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go right where I just scissored. And I'm going to go right over the ear. Now, if you notice, because I she hasn't had been scissored much, I didn't come all the way down to where the skin is because I don't want to cut it off too much. So I'm going to do it very, take a little bit off at a time. Get right back into where my where I did my shoulder. Take all this hair off underneath and back for ear. That can go. So you can kind of see how we're doing this. I'll get this other side over here. I'll do the same thing on this side. Get it all. All blended in. So you get it all flowing just right. And you can see how floppy it is. It's just kind of laying there, not going anywhere. So the one I'm gonna do now, since I got that kind of set in, I'm gonna do my side to side. But I'm not pulling it all the way down like this. I don't want to do that because if I do that. You cut this off and it's going to look like it's going to be all cut off like that. So you don't want to do that, especially when you got a floppy top knot like this. It's important to get the sides short but not too short. 